Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about the pulse oximeter. It's a machine that detects the level of oxygen saturation in the blood. There are many conditions that require constant monitoring of the oxygen levels. Our daughter sleeps with a vent system and has trouble maintaining adequate oxygen levels when she sleeps. This helps us decide whether or not to provide her with additional oxygen. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and let me know if you found it helpful. So every morning, I take the oxygen probe off of Hanya's toe. The drawback of the oximeters is if your child moves a lot during sleep, the probe may loosen and fall off and give an inaccurate reading. The Massimo Company Pulse Ox Machine comes in a travel bag to easily carry it. It has an inner zippered pocket to store additional probes. The interface is fairly simple to use. It's pre-programmed by a doctor, so you don't have to worry about the settings. The back part of the bag has an opening for the charging port. The shoulder strap allows for easy travel and it's also removable when it's not needed. Let's take a look at the interface. The power button is outlined in green. Leave the power button pressed for a couple of seconds and wait for the beep to signal it's been turned on. The display will flash and run through the settings. Standard setting, low oxygen limit, high oxygen limit, low pulse limit, high pulse limit, and 8 second average. A no cable sign indicates the cable is not attached to the machine. Take the red cable and attach it to the front left of the interface, pushing it down firmly. Once attached, the display will change and now show no sensor. The sensor or probe is attached to the white part of the cable. For that, we're going to need to take out one of the probes. This is what one of the probes look like. Plug in the gray part of the probe into the cable by first removing the clear plastic cover of the cable. Make sure the arrows on both ends match and push the cable in. Then close the plastic cover and wait for the lights to blink. Once the red light switches on the probe, you're good to go. The interface will show sensor off, which means it's not picking up a signal. Now we're ready to place on the probe. Peel off the backing of the probe. I use either a thumb or the big toe for best readings. There are two sensors on the probe. They pick up the oxygen levels by passing light through the blood. It's completely painless. Place the blinking red light over the nail of the thumb and wrap the rest of the sticker around it. The sensors should be directly opposite of each other in order to pick up the signals adequately. Once you've placed the sensor on, the display will begin to show dashed lines until it picks up the signal, which can usually take up to 10 seconds. I've tried another oximeter brand, but I've found the Maximo to be the easiest to use as well as the most accurate. The top number indicates the level of oxygen saturation and the bottom is the heart rate. This bar indicates how true and accurate the signals are. It's green, so we're good. This bar indicates how profuse the sight of the sensor is. The higher the bar, the better the quality. The top right button is used to silence any alarms. The up and down arrows allow you to control the sound of the heart rate. I like to keep it on silent, but it's up to you. Pressing the enter button opens up different setups. Alarm volume is set to level 3, alarm silence is 120 seconds, alarm delay of 5 seconds, clear trend is no, button volume is off, sensitivity is set to APOD, and fast sat is set to off. These are mostly factory settings. The alarm button switches between saturation and pulse settings. The low oxygen setting is set to 90, the highest oxygen parameter is off, the lowest pulse rate limit is 45, and the high pulse limit is 145. Every oximeter is different based on every individual's need. Any parameter that goes beyond the program number will set the alarm off. Pressing the arrow key allows you to change the brightness settings. I like to keep the brightness on level 2. Once you've chosen your setting, press enter to lock it in. The bars under the power button indicate the level of charge remaining. The Maximo can run up to eight hours after a full charge on its battery. Leave the power button pressed for two seconds and it switches the machine right off. And that's all there is to it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.